Kayla's being central. I'm Jess, and it's Sunday here, and I'm filling in for Devin. And this week we're talking about deal breakers. And deal breakers are things that you wouldn't put up with in a relationship and would put you off from forming a relationship with somebody. So I have five of them, and let's just get straight into it. In no particular order, my first one is ease of conversation. This is really, really important for me. It's probably one of my top ones, because if we can't banter and be witty and you know riff off each other then it's just it's gonna feel like a lot of effort for me if I feel tired after having a conversation with you or if I'm feeling like I'm stretching the conversation trying to link topics to each other and constantly like oh what should, what should we talk about next what should we talk about next because you're not contributing enough or because the chemistry is just not there I can't be with you it's just like it's super important for me I just I can't be with you I can't be with you it also goes to, to talk about I want to just have superficial conversations with someone I want to have conversations that can be fun and on the surface and just witty and banter and that I need that but I also need someone who's thoughtful and can go deeper so ease of conversation and just being able to hold one with me without me feeling exhausted afterwards is key my second is cheating a lot of the girls have talked about this I, I don't do cheating I would never cheat and I would expect my my partner to never cheat it's just it's an absolute no-no for me it ruins trust for me it ruins my opinion of you and it's not fair to you because even if you cheated once and then you were literally never going to do it again. You promised, you knew you wouldn't, and you didn't. You would never cheat again. I would always feel like you would, and I, was always, I would always be worried about it, and that's not fair to me because I'd constantly be worried, and I'd also, it's not also not fair to you because you would never be trusted again, and you could be very trustworthy after that, and it's not fair to you. So cheating is just an absolute no. I would break it off immediately. No. Next, um, this is really important for me. It's it's again it's like at the ease of conversation type of thing it's really important um that is body modification and body expression um i like to pierce my ears i like to wear hats and glasses and mix it up i like to wear masculine clothing sometimes sometimes i like to wear more femi clothing not often but it happens um i like to get tattoos i like to dye my hair i like to cut it i like to do all sorts of things with it i like to mix it up and i need someone who not only puts up with that, but supports me in that. So don't tell me to get a haircut. <laughs> don't tell me to stop getting piercings. Don't tell me that to stop dyeing my hair. Don't tell me to, like, to cut it a certain way. Like, I'm going to do what I want with my body, and I need someone who is going to support me in that. And I'm not saying you can't have your personal preferences or that you can't joke around and say, hey, need a haircut? Like, that's fine. But then as soon as I'm like, no, nah, I'm growing it out, or no, I like it this length, then back off. Like, just... Stop doing it. It isn't even just in like relationships. It's also in friendships. I have friends who are not good friends, but friends who are like, you're going to dye your hair what color? You're, you, you cut your hair again? Dude, why are you doing that? Like, no, don't get a, don't get a piercing. Don't get an eyebrow piercing. Like, it's none of your business. Back off, okay? <laughs> That's really important for me is just supporting me in whatever I choose to do with my body. Okay, next is having the same core values, which sounds pretty general, but I'm talking more about... Um, being really open to other people and what they're doing and how they're living their lives. So that means no slut shaming, no fat shaming, um, being open to all races and all religions and all sexualities. Um, I would never date someone who's not okay with someone being bi. That just says a lot about you to me um, and a lot about what your, your values are. So I would never date someone like that. So just having the same principle core values is super important to me. I'm not, like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna sit with you and have you saying like, that girl's so fat or that girl's such a slut or, ugh, like, I just, I'm not putting up with it. I'm not doing it. You need, to, I need someone who's open, like me, and who's willing to listen to another person's point of view and things like that and being really non judgmental. That's really important for me. And my last one is lifestyle. And lifestyle means for me, like, you can't constantly be partying and you also can't constantly be studying. You know what I mean? I, I want to be able to have a Friday and Saturday night where we could go out and we could drink and we could have fun. But we could also, on a Friday or Saturday night, go to the movies or just sleep in bed and cuddle. Like, I need both. I don't want someone who's super hardcore partier. I don't want someone who's a super hardcore studier either. You know, I need a balance. And I need you to be okay with not going out all the time and also not staying in all the time. I want to be able to mix it up. So those are my five deal breakers, guys. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll see you guys soon, but see ya.